Battle Fleet! Mike, it's been a pleasure being here. Yesterday you showed me a cool device. You kind of walked over to me and, and showed me this like kind of handheld video device. Yeah. What was I holding? Yeah, you were holding a virtual camera. The idea behind the virtual camera is that part of what we're doing exists in, in only in the computer. And if you want to see that, you have two options. One is to kind of, you know, generate everything after the fact and sort of composite the images together and see it in, in a, like a two-dimensional filmic sense. But one other option is to put a virtual camera in that virtual world and look around and compose your shots that way. Yesterday you had the opportunity to um, be in a suit and play a performer on set. Once we capture your performance, we can cover your performance with a virtual camera. That shot you just saw where the camera came back with you and then spun around, that was him over there doing that. Oh, whoa. So he wasn't out here filming you like a normal camera would. Right. He can do it from anywhere. And it's it was like, just reference. That's just yeah. so we could see what you did. It's not the camera we're gonna use in the movie at all. Welcome to our virtual camera stage. Awesome. Um, so I'm gonna give you the camera here. So this is the camera. This is yeah, that's, that's the camera. Been using. Yeah, and this this could be anything. So James Cameron, for example, likes a shoulder-mounted rig, so you can get <laughs> it like this. Okay. Uh, Peter likes one that he can hold like this. Yep. Just allows him to get a nice smooth camera move. It's whatever the filmmakers want. Here we've got a few controls. So there's a uh, these two buttons here between lenses so if you press the middle button that's going to get you on a longer lens get you a bit closer to the action mm -hmm. very different feel to a, a wider angle lens okay so it gets us super close and then then the other one gets really far yep the other cool. way you can just walk around like if you wanted to turn around and look back at a laser you can there you go yeah it's sweet <laughs> easy yeah Oh, see, that's cool. Yeah. We yeah, did. this is unbelievable. Are the directors just like really into this now? Like this is like the new thing? Yeah, I think when you when you have these like big uh, virtual set pieces, right. like this is really the only way to go. It allows the director to just sort of say, hey, this is what I want from the camera. Um, they don't need to know any, any of our software. They just pick up a, a, a camera and they show everyone what they want, right? Whereas previously you'd be like, okay, I'm gonna describe what I want. I might draw a storyboard or something yes. like that and then hope that an animator somewhere comes back with the right, the perfect camera move that they were envisaging in their head. Well, they can just pick up the camera and show them now. I think the thing for directors with this type of technology is it really frees them. When they are missing shots or want to cover something differently or tell a different part of the story, they can build a bunch of coverage into a scene and they can do it on their own time. What we get out of your performance is we grab it here mm -hmm. and tomorrow, next week, at any time, he can pull it up and cover it however he wants. So he can... So I might get a long lens shot at the beginning, a close up of your feet, a wide lens as you're going around, scraping things. I can yeah. shoot it any which way I want. We don't have to keep you going through that. Wow. Normally we shot this, it would take all day. We'd probably cut when you get to the bottom of that, relight for the next part, totally. do the stunt forever. But here I can just get your performance, get it all at once, send you away, <laughs> and we can do camera forever and tinker with it and light it any which way we want. That opens up a lot of opportunities for filmmakers, both for kind of figuring out um, how they might want to conceive of their shots, but also it's a great way to actually think about finishing shots. Once you have your performances, you could look at doing that and maybe grab angles that you didn't quite get on the day or something you know new comes to mind and, and you have room to experiment with it even after you're done shooting. It's wow. a lot of freedom. That's why this is a performance capture. We're only worried about performance. All that other stuff that takes up our time, we don't have to worry about. That's we unbelievable. Just do this. Wow. So it's cool. It's really performance driven.